Hola, party people! Yeah, so, it's Romy here. And before I do this review, this review is going to be on the uh, Braxton's Family Christmas album. It is finally out, people! It is finally out! Uh, do me a favor and l remember to like, of course, while you're listening to the review, watching the review, leave comments, and also subscribe because I cover a myriad of topics and do a host of videos. I usually try to do a couple of videos a day. So go ahead and subscribe. Of course, it's free to do. And sit back, relax, and we'll go through the review or reaction video to the Braxton's Family Christmas album. Okay. So, the first uh, track off of the album, there's eight songs in total, is This Christmas. And it's actually with Tony Braxton. It's basically a solo with uh, Tony Braxton. Because, as far as I can tell, I couldn't hear anyone else's voice. And if I could, if they were there, they did a, an amazing job blending it. No, it was just Tony's. I just checked. And so... You know, it was in the legendary Tony vein of These Christmas is This Christmas I go through the sky and sail through the night and this Christmas will be very... See, you get the point. So yeah, so of course it was amazing. <laughs> I loved it. Comedy aside, it was comedy for me. It was amazing. And so, of course, give it an A+. Because it's Tony. And so the second track is Every Day is Christmas. Every day is Christmas. Yeah, so Every Day is Christmas. That is really cool. A head bopping song. And I forgot to mention that this album as a whole, because I already listened to it, the production is amazing. Because I have titles, so of course I get to hear the hear it as closely to as it would be in live studio. And... I must say, it is just sonically it is amazing, and all the women's voices blend well together. And so, yeah, every day's Christmas. It's a cute little head bopper. Definitely. The next song is Mary Did You Know. You already know, we've already, for anyone who's watched the show, the uh, Braxton's Family Values, we already know that Mary Did You Know is one of their go-to songs that they've been singing together ever since they were little girls. And the song is amazing. I mean, how their voices blend together at points. I wasn't sure if it was Tamar or if it was Trina singing or if it was Tony. Tawanda, I, for the most part, could tell it was her. And that's in the positive. That is definitely the positive, and also Tracy too, but for the most part, because they all, they've sung together, they all sing in the general same uh, vein, and when they're singing in the same key, it's very hard to distinguish, which is a plus, because they all can sing, so. Yeah, but Mary, did you know, when Tony and Tamar are uh, going back and forth, and when Tamar and... Tracy are going back and forth. Tawanda and Trina. It's just, it's definitely my t one of the top three songs that I love from this EP, from this album. Definitely. It's a breakout song. So for Oh Holy Night, it's a acapella version. And of course it's dope. I think Tawanda actually starts it off. 
And so that's cool to hear. One thing though, I don't know the rules to music and all of that, but if it's a cappella, then why am I hearing uh, computer generated snaps? Can anyone answer me that? Because I can't see them snapping for close to three minutes. Again, people, just the comic relief. Just the comic relief. So, yeah. Of course, Oh Holy Night was amazing. And I think Trina, if I'm not mistaken, it was either Trina or Tracy who was going up there uh, as far as in notes and it was just amazing. Oh, look. Oh, don't look at the hair. Don't look at the hair. So the next song is Last Christmas. And hold on. So Last Christmas is pretty much airy. Airy in the sense that it's just like, La, Last Christmas. Well, of course, with real vocals, not what I was producing. Very nice day. You gave it away this time. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I'm not gonna get caught up with copyright infringements. So yeah, last Christmas was cool and how they kind of incorporated the modernized electronic uh, drums in there towards the... Uh-oh towards the one minute and 40 seconds mark. I really like that. Well, coming from the church myself, I can definitely appreciate the next track, Blessed New Year. It's definitely a, uh, and the way how they did it, I can definitely see them performing in someone's church. And I think that's really cool. Yeah, so I'll have to say about that one. I would say, again, that's another one that's in the top three favorite just because of for content and how they arranged it. Oh, ladies, ladies, you, you've got someone who's on the market here. His name is Michael Braxton. Because <laughs> we knew he could sing, but on the next track under My Christmas Tree, he does a duet with Tony. And it's so great because it's so tongue-in-cheek. It's kind of like when Lady Gaga did her uh, the album Cheek to Cheek with Tony Bennett and how... It just, they played off of each other and it was cool. That's essentially the vibe you get from under my Christmas tree. And it's really cool to see because for people who watch the show and are fans of the show or the shows, we don't really see Michael because he's an RN. So, as you know, he's not going to be all a part of that uh, celebrity life or whatever. And so it's definitely nice to hear his voice and hear Tony sing with him. They really balance out each other. He actually kind of takes the highs at some point because, you know, Tony's down here. And he's like, ha, ah, ah. So, it's nice. And to finish this off, the last one is again this Christmas, but it's with all of the sisters. And it's really cool because you hear, again, how they blend their voices together. And it's just so nice. It, it really is. And so I would have to say that Mary Did You Know was my number one favorite. Uh, this Christmas, the Braxton family version. Actually, I'll combine the two. This Christmas, just with Tony, and this Christmas with all the sisters are tied for number two. And number three is Blessed New Year. 
so that's my top three fave. Again, the production was amazing. Proud of the ladies for actually completing the album because it almost became like a running joke. Like, is this ever going to happen? I'm glad Mother Evelyn got what she wanted with all of her daughters and all of her children coming together to do this album. And so, let me know what you think. Please like, comment, subscribe. Because again, I do a myriad of uh, topics and videos. And I actually have a bunch of videos already up. So, if you could just go in and look and see if there's anything there that you like. And you could also share this video by clicking on the arrow, the pointer arrow, that's right next to the thumbs up, thumbs down button. And my contact information is in the more info box. What's in there is more so just all of my uh, social media accounts. It's pretty much all the same. Romy underscore 93. So that's R-O-M-I-E underscore 93. And again, tell me what you think. What's your th top three favorite? Did you like this album? Did you not like it? Was it what you were expecting? Was it not? Just let me know. Leave a comment. So thank you.